Hi everybody, welcome back to Reading Nook at Cozy Nook Library and I am one of the three librarians, my name is Radhika Sathe and we actually are not recording from the library obviously because of the pandemic so I am at home in front of one of my little uh, home libraries. So today I wanted to talk to you about uh, some picture books that talk about children and their feelings and sometimes how small they feel in this big world. Um, these are books that let children feel uh, sad, these are books that help them understand that it is okay to be scared, it is okay to feel sad, it is okay uh, to feel lonely um, and how better than to uh, let them feel and come to terms with their emotions uh, especially with what is going on right now than books. So uh, one of the first books I want to uh, talk to you about is Piku's Little World. It's written by Shomak Ghoshal. It's uh, illustrated by Proeti Roy. Uh, it is published by the wonderful Pratham Books. And this is a book about a little boy and his, uh, his coming to terms with a very big event in his life. It is not necessary. It's not a happy event. But uh, the book talks about it in a very beautiful way. It uh, deals with uh, his emotions in a very nuanced, nice way. And the illustrations are just incredible. This is just one of the illustrations when uh, uh, Piku is uh, having his afternoon nap. And uh, I loved this book. It deals with a very difficult topic, uh, but has been dealt with in a, in a most beautiful, uh, gentle way. So this is Piku's Little World by Shomak Ghoshal, illustrated by Proeti Roy. Um, definitely a favorite of mine. Another book I would like to talk about, let me see, is um, Thank You Mr. Pocker by Patricia Palopo. If I had a book um, that was my most favorite picture book of all time, I think this would be it. This is a sort of a semi-autographical book uh, by Patricia Palocco. It deals with Patricia Palocco dealing with uh, her childhood demons uh, when she suffered from dyslexia, um, when she couldn't make uh, sense of the alphabet, when letters and sounds were mysterious, were difficult, and, uh, and how a teacher helped her deal with life. And it is amazing uh, that one of the most prolific and illustrated uh, writers of our times dealt with this in her childhood. So this is a beautiful book. Patricia Palaco is an author illustrator, so you obviously can expect some incredible illustrations, um, some uh, very, very poignant, beautiful uh, pages. And I love this book, absolutely love this book. This is Thank You Mr. Falker, written and illustrated by Patricia Palaco. And the third book I want to talk to you about, I think is one of the most incredible children's books written. The entire book only has three words or three sounds, La La La. The name of the book is La 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 by Kate DiCamillo. Uh, and it's illustrated incredibly, beautifully, magically by uh, Jamie Kim. And uh, this book actually takes you into a dreamland. It takes you into places where even as an adult uh, sometimes you feel very small sometimes you feel like why is it that i'm talking i'm saying stuff and nobody's getting it why isn't anyone uh, responding to how i'm feeling and this book deals with that this book talks about a little girl who goes and talks to the trees and tries to talk to the leaves and the sky about uh, how she feels and she says la 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 and then what happens and the illustrations are just mind-boggling. Every page, every page has illustrations that are worthy of some award. I don't know. I just love this book. Um, I have gifted this book to many people uh, in the family. Um, and children who have borrowed this book at Kozinuk Libraries have come back with what they thought the book was about. I think that's the best part about this book that every child, every adult uh, makes what they want of it. Um, it's an amazing book, La 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 by Kate DiCamio, uh, illustrated by Jamie Kim. So these were our three picks for this week. Um, picture books are just wonderful. 
um, you know, make sure you read with your children. And as adults, I think sometimes picture books make way more sense than the fan books. So uh, until we see you next time, go to our website at cozinooklibrary.com and check us out. Bye.